Hey, I'm Paola. I'm a clinical specialist with the Medtronic Extended Infusion Set Launch Team, and I'm here to answer some questions. Uh, the first I have is, does the Extended Infusion Set cause scarring at the site? Now, before I answer that question, a little bit of background. The term lipohypertrophy is commonly used to talk about the lumps and bumps that can happen from the buildup of fat cells at the site of either an insulin injection or an insulin infusion. Uh, this is something that can ultimately lead to skin irritation, skin infection, scar tissue, and even hardened areas can develop at that site. Now, some people think that it's the cannula, the infusion set cannula that causes the buildup of these fat cells, but research actually shows that it's caused by something called insulin aggregation. But what is that, right? Well, before I explain what that is, let's talk about insulin. Insulin is a protein. It actually is coiled in shape when it's stable. But when we use an infusion set, insulin has to travel. It travels from the reservoir into the tubing and then ultimately into the body. And that's what's called the fluid path. Now, while insulin is on this path, it can actually become unstable over time and ultimately changes shape. And that's what's called insulin aggregation. When our research team learned that insulin preservatives were really the key to preventing uh, skin irritation and inflammation, what they did is they set out to reduce the amount of insulin preservatives that were lost in that path as the key target to increasing the wear time of our sets beyond the two to three days that we're accustomed to today. Now, the innovative technology in the extended infusion set is what helps reduce the loss of those insulin preservatives in that fluid path, which helps keep insulin stable for longer, helps decrease that inflammatory response we keep talking about, and also helps decrease the risk of those lumps and bumps, which ultimately allows for a longer wear time. What's different about extended infusion set besides the wear time? This is a brilliant question to ask. It comes up all the time, so let's get right to it. There are three new features on the Medtronic extended infusion set that you need to know about. We're gonna start with the tubing. So this new tubing is designed to help keep insulin stable for longer. The key piece here is it helps reduce the loss of insulin preservatives. Why does that matter? Insulin preservatives help keep insulin stable for longer. So if we're able to reduce the loss of those preservatives, we're able to keep insulin stable for longer and therefore extend the wear of the set. They also help maintain insulin flow within the tubing. Get it? Okay, there's also a new connector. This new connector reduces the risk of occlusions or essentially insulin particles getting kind of stuck in that little filter and affecting the flow of insulin. It's really important that you know this because this also plays a part in keeping insulin stable and it plays a part in making sure that the infusion set at the infusion site is performing reliably. All right, next up is the adhesive patch. This adhesive patch is meant to provide comfort and durability for up to seven days. And then last but not least, I don't have it with me, but this new infusion set comes with the extended reservoir, which can be worn for up to seven days. Now, you can also now change your reservoir based on your individual insulin needs without having to change your set. Pretty neat, huh? Hi, I'm Primaline. I'm a registered nurse and launch lead with Medtronic Diabetes. And today I'll be answering your questions about the Medtronic extended infusion set and extended reservoir. Can I use my three-day reservoir with my extended infusion set? Okay, so the answer is yes. However, the three-day reservoir has to be changed at three days. We recommend ordering and using the extended infusion set and the extended reservoir together. You get the added flexibility in case you wanna go into a fourth day or up to seven days. You can't do that with the with a standard reservoir. And more importantly, it keeps your insurance ordering cycle on schedule. How many infusion sets in one box of extended infusion sets? This is a great question because our previous infusion sets, all of them come in boxes of 10. Extended infusion set comes in three box quantities, 
We have a one pack, a three pack, and a 10 pack. The combination of boxes you'll receive for your regular order cycle depends on your insurance. Since the set lasts longer, you will not receive as many infusion sets in each shipment as you would with other infusion set types. Is a new prescription required? Yes, a new prescription is required for the extended infusion set. From your healthcare provider, we'll need to find out uh, how much insulin do you use per day so we can send you the right amount of reservoirs since you have the opportunity now for the first time ever to use more than one reservoir with one extended infusion set if you need it. And we want to find out from your healthcare provider, do you expect to change your infusion set every seven days or a different change frequency? Are there any recommended sites where I should insert the extended infusion set? Yes, in fact, the extended infusion set is approved for let me take out my handy dandy instructions for use booklet. You'll see here on the fold, it's pretty thick. It comes in a bunch of different languages. It is approved for use in all of these shaded areas. So the, the arm, the abdomen, the legs, the lower back. Um, always talk to your healthcare provider before choosing an insertion site. What is an infusion set? Well, an infusion set connects the insulin pump delivery system to your body. It has an insertion needle, and actually, let me just let me just show you. <laughs> it has an insertion needle, so let me show you. On the extended infusion set, the insertion needle is really tiny. It's inside, um, inside this part and you press down and when you press down this needle will um, insert a tiny plastic tube under your skin and that's called the cannula okay and then this whole um, insertion part of the product you throw it in the trash um, and then you uh, connect that infusion set with an adhesive patch so you can see the adhesive patch is here there's a little sticky it kind of works like a band-aid that's how it stays on your body that's how the infusion set stays on your body and then it connects to this longer tubing um, one end of the tubing attaches to your body the other end of the tubing attaches to a reservoir i don't have a reservoir here with me right now but the reservoir holds three to seven days worth of insulin and the reservoir goes into your pump so the infusion set, I would say, is the most important part of the insulin pump delivery system because it's what connects the technology to you. What is the difference between the standard reservoir and the extended reservoir? Well, only the extended reservoir is FDA approved and cleared for use up to seven days. The standard reservoir is only approved for use up to three days. When you look at the package and the box, the standard reservoir and the extended reservoir have different labels. They have different material numbers. The part numbers are different. But once you take them out the package, they look exactly the same. How much insulin will the new extended reservoir hold? Well, the extended reservoir holds three milliliters of insulin. So that's 300 units of U100 concentration insulin. So it's the same amount as the standard reservoir, except you can use it longer. 